Morning. Welcome to ANZ News. It's December the 8th. Where do I put my money? The gold bull market is still intact. This would have been one of the most common questions investors have asked this year. Shares are at record high valuations despite a recession. Bonds are at sky high rates. And for some reason, they're not yielding. And you can't get any interest in the money in the bank either. So where do you put your money? And that's what leads many people to our door at Ainsley Bullion. Crestcat called this the risk parity exhaustion and spoke to it recently in an investor update. And it is as follows. This from Crestcat. Among all the demand drivers for gold, we view the lack of competing cheap assets being a major one. For the first time in history, junk bonds and stocks are recordly overvalued in tandem. Both sides of the so-called risk parity strategy, stocks and bonds, are at extreme valuations. In a world of near zero to negative yields and frothy valuations across almost every risky asset, it will become imperative for investors to seek out undervalued assets that are true beneficiaries of the current macro environment. In our view, precious metals are poised to become the new core for must-have asset for capital allocators. Gold and silver are risk-off alternatives to bonds in portfolios of prudently-minded investors in today's market. When you see this next chart, we're going to show you illustrating their point above. You really get the extreme setup that's right before us now. The most ardent believer of this time it's different, the four most expensive words in the English dictionary, must take a serious pause at this. Here's the valuation of US stocks versus junk bonds and their positioning. Crestcat then go on to note, after 2011, the gold to risk parity ratio went through a precipitous downward trend that began to reverse in the fourth quarter of 2018. This ratio seems to have formed a double bottom. And now we're going to show you another chart. Next shown in our view is poised to move significantly higher. We believe that within the next few years, investors will trade historically overvalued stocks and bonds for cheap macro assets such as precious metals. Here's that chart here, gold to risk parity index ratio. Just showing that double bottom that we've experienced since around 2005 and also 2019, around there. So extreme is the corporate bond market right now that for the first time in history, yields of them are below the inflation expectations. Here's the US corporate bonds yield chart and inflation expectation. They've bottomed out. So just pause and consider this. So desperate is the market looking for a home for funds that yields, they are piling into risky corporate debt. That yields, whilst better than a bank, are in fact less than the 10 year break even rate, a good proxy for future inflation expectations. Gold has had a good correlation of price against real yields, but the chart we're gonna show next clearly illustrates how the correlation in the gold price since July has broken from that correlation and suggests a strong rebound or a rebound is imminent. Here's that chart here, gold versus real yields. Hmm. Where's it gonna to go to next if you're looking at that chart? As opposed to sky high shares and bonds, the collective of hard assets being commodities index has never been more lower compared to shares as we show in this next chart as well. Commodities to equities ratio. Remember the golden rule, buy low, sell high. At what point would you want to buy commodities? And hence, any talk of gold and silver in particular, having its had its run this year, looks extraordinarily premature. Again, this next chart here in log scale shows the last bull run in gold from 2001 to 2012, followed by the bear market at the end of 2015, and this bull market starting then. Okay, look closer at this one. Here's that chart there going all the way back to around 1999. What a 2020. It looks set to continue onwards, but as always, be the judge of this information yourself. That, that chart just shown illustrates how early we could be in the bull market and puts the correction this second half of the year firmly into perspective. Crestcat more clearly illustrate how these 10% plus corrections were par of course for the last bull run, illustrating no less than six of them before the top. Now we're gonna show this chart here, gold's last bull market from 2001 to 2012 and those percentage movement points downwards while it continued an upwards trend. As the author, Ottavio Costa, tweeted yesterday in reference to this chart, so much for the end of the bull market on gold. Here are the other six times gold fell more than 10% in its last cycle. Mute the noise, it's time to own precious metals. 
but I'm guessing everyone listening to this podcast is already holding or stacking a little bit themselves. If you're not, you can jump over to ainsleybullion.com.au to grab all of your gold, silver, and platinum. If you're into cryptocurrencies, ainsleywealth.com.au. And if you believe in gold and silver but need something a little bit more portable that you know is backed by real gold and silver, check out Ainsley Bullion's own cryptocurrency, the gold standard and the silver standard. Built and backed by Ainsley, stored at Reserve Vault. Check out goldsilverstandard.com. Enjoy your Tuesday. We'll catch you tomorrow for more news.